Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the 222 officially confirmed so far Pokemon that will be returning in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. We've had a bunch of trailers in the run up to the release of Scarlet and Violet, which is a little under two weeks away now. We will be using Makio.it, a trusty source over there. The link will be down in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves to go through chronologically from generation one to generation nine all of the officially confirmed pokemon that we've seen in these trailers that will be making an appearance a return in scarlet and violet so we're going to start off from the top generation one everyone's favorite and you can see the first returning pokemon is obviously going to be pikachu we're going to have jigglypuff we have seen that obviously in one of the trailers recently in that terraform then we've got venonat making an appearance for the first time in a long time venonat making an appearance we've got diglett obviously we've got the the regional variation of wiggly in these games but we are going to get the Cantonian variant as well. We're going to have Meowth, Persian, Psyduck and Golduck, Growlithe and Arcanine. Very happy about that and hopefully we'll get the Hisuian versions as well. We're going to get Slowpoke and Slowbro, Magnemite, Magneton, Grimer and Muck. Very happy about that. I'm really hoping for one time only that we get Alolan Muck back. I love Alolan Muck. One of the highlights from Sun and Moon for me. Shelda and Cloyster, we're going to get the Ghastly line, which is great because we'll be able to use Gengo once again, Drowsy, Hypno, Chansey, Scyther, Magikarp and Gyarados. The big thing about Chansey is as well, there's going to be a good opportunity to hoard XP, farm XP because Chansey gives so much XP away and obviously those lucky eggs, which will make leveling up Pokemon a lot easier. Now then we've got Eevee, obviously from Generation 1, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, and we know we're going to be getting the Dragonite line, Dratini, Dragonite, and Dragonite. Moving down into Generation 2, we obviously continue with the Pikachu line. We're going to get the baby form in Pichu. We're going to get Igglypuff as well, which is the Jigglypuff line. Then we're going to get Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos. Marl and Azumarill have been confirmed. Pseudowoodo. Obviously, Brassius, the Dream Leader, has a Pseudowoodo. We've got Hopip, Skiploom, and Jumpluff. Sunkern and Sunflora. Again, Sunflora are going to be in that first gym that we go up against. Then we've got Wooper and Quagsire. Obviously, we have had the Paldean form confirmed, but these are confirmed to be in the game. They're Jotonian forms. we got Espion and Umbreon continuing that Eevee line. Murkrow, we're going to get Slowking and Mistrevious. Girafferig, which we know about because we've had the evolution of that confirmed already in the trailers. We're going to get Pinko and Fortress, Dunspars and Sizer or Scissor, however we're pronouncing it. Then we've got Sneasel, Teddy Ursa, Ursaring, Ursaring, another one of those Hisuian Pokemon that I'm really hoping that we get in these games. Then we get Houndo and Houndoom, great favorite Pokemon from Generation 2 from myself. Fanfi and Donphan, we're gonna get Blissey as well, continuing that Chansey line and the Lavatar line, which we know is a version exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. Then Generation 3, a lot of players' favorite generation of all time from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. We're going to start off with Wingull and Pelipper. So we're going to have a Rain user, Drizzle user in the games, which is pretty nice since we know we've got Torkoal. No spoilers, going ahead. Um, then we've got the Ralts line, God of War, uh, Curlia. We're going to have Shroomish and Breloom, one of my all-time favorites. I was so happy when we saw Breloom announced in those trailers in August. Then we're going to have Slackoff, Vigoroth, and Slacking. Maku and Hariyama. We're going to have obviously Azuril because we've got Maril and Azumarill. And then we've got Sableye, Meditite and Medichamp. Then Numel and Camerupt. I love Camerupt as well. Never really gets too much love Camerupt, I feel, but it's such a cool Pokemon. Obviously, we know that the Team Star Boss, Mila, has got Tokol, so Tokol going to be in these games. And then we've got Cacnea and Cacturn. We've got Swablu and Altaria. And then Zangus, Surviper, Tropius big one coming back. I love Tropius' design as well. It's one of those that just it never really sees much play, but it is a cool Pokemon. Snorunt and Glalie. I'm kind of done with Glalie after Pokemon Legends Arceus, honestly, but it is returning. And then we get Bagon, Sheldon and Salamence. There is a bonus with Snorunt. We'll get to it though, won't we? 
Then we move down to Generation 4. We're going to have the Starly line, so Star Avia and Star Raptor. Then Shinx, Luxio and Luxury. Like, they're just staples in Generation 4, right? And then Combi and Vespa Queen. We're going to get Pachirisu, everyone's favorite. And then Drifloon and Drifblim. We're going to get Miss Magius. Obviously, we've got Miss Drevious from a previous generation, so it would make sense for Miss Magius and Honchcrow as well. And then Bronzo and Bronzong. We're going to get Bonsly, since we have got Sudowoodo. It makes sense to have all the babies in for these Pokemon that we've already covered from previous generations. Got Hapini, Riolu and Lucario. I know they're two big Pokemon, a lot of people's favorites and very happy to see these returning. We're going to get the Hippo Pokemon, Hippotis and Hippowden. And then we're going to get Krogunk and Top. A crawl as well. Then we're going to get Finian, Luminian, and Snova, and a Bomber Snow, Weavile, and Magnezon. So Magnezon is obviously going to be in because Magnemite and Magneton are there. Then continuing that Evolution line, we're going to get Leafeon, Glacian again in there, kind of making up extra ones of these forms. Uh, Glade. Froslass and also Rotom. Rotom going to be a big Pokemon in these new gens as it normally is. Then moving down to Generation 5, we're going to get Petalil and Lilligant. Then we're going to get Sandile, Crocorock and Crocodile. We're going to get Zoroa and Zoroark. We're going to get Dealing and Swarsbuck. And then Tynamo, Electric and Electros are returning. Electros is such a cool Pokemon. Very looking forward to using this Generation 5 Pokemon once again. Chubchu and Beartick, Cryogonal and then Dino, Zuelos and Hydreigon. So not too many from Generation 5. Honestly, it feels like the least represented region so far, but uh, hopefully there's more room and more time for other Pokemon to still get confirmed. Then we'll move down to Generation 6. We are going to get the Fletching line with Fletchinder and Talonflame. Then we're going to have Scatterbug, Spupa and Vervillian, which is cool. Vervillian making its comeback. So we're going to get all the different variations of Vervillian from Generation 6. We've seen Litleo and Pyro was seen in yesterday's trailer where Gimme Goo was revealed in that little teaser there. We're going to get Flababy, Floret and Floges, which will be happy for some people cool cool fairy pokemon and then we'll move on with skiddo which was the pokemon that joe serebi confirmed to be overworld shinies do exist skiddo was that shiny and gogold obviously gonna follow up with that gonna get cloncha and Cloritza. sylvian continuing that evolution line and the final one in that and then gumi sligu and gudra another one of those who see in the forms that we potentially might get noibat and noivern rounding off generation six then moving down to generation seven we are going to be getting rowlet rowlet confirmed with dartrix and decidui we're going to get oracorio and probably the oracorio line we're going to get rock rough we saw lichen rock in the trailer again for gimme goo yesterday we're going to get marini and toxapex mudbray and mudsdale fermantis lorantis we're going to get bansweet Steenie and Serena and Kamala and Mimikyu. Mimikyu, one of my all-time favorites. So very happy to see Mimikyu returning. And then come down, round off everything in Generation 8. We're going to get Squawvert and Greedent. Don't know how I feel about that. Greedent creeps me out a little bit. Rookie D, Corva Squire and Corva Knight. We're going to get Tutel and Dreadnought. We're going to get Roly Coley, Kokol and Colossal. Applin. Apple and Appleton. Cool that these Pokemon are returning. I really love Applin and, and its evolutions. It never really got as much love, I feel, in Generation 8 as it deserved, but that's probably a lot of bias from my end. We are going to see Toxel and Toxtricity returning. We're going to get Sinisty and Poltegeist. And then Hatena, Hatrim and Hatterene as well. So Hatterene, one of my all-time favorites as well. Pinchurchin is making its way back. It's going to be one of the terrain users, I guess, in this generation, if terrains are still a thing, which you would imagine they will be. Then Snom and Frozmoth. Frozmoth, a big favorite of a lot of players in the game, so nice to see this returning. We're gonna get Stone Journey, which is an exclusive to Scarlet and Ice Q, which is an exclusive to Violet, and then Qfant and Copperaja. And that is everything confirmed. That is 222 Pokemon that have been seen in all of the official trailers so far 
that we've had running up to the release of Scarlet and Violet, and that is all of them. I hope that some of your favorites are in this list, and obviously this is not the confirmed official final list for returning Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but these are the list of Pokemon that we've got returning so far in the games from official trailer information. I hope you found this video useful. I hope some of your favorites are in there. Let me know down in the comment section below if some of your favorites are returning in Scarlet and Violet. Obviously, once we get the full Pokedex list, we will do a full recap video showing you all the new Pokemon, the Paldea forms, everything, and the returning Pokemon as well. Once we know that information, the games are due out in two weeks, but we're gonna keep up with all of the information as things come out. Thank you so much for tuning in hit that subscribe button and if you've enjoyed the video like i say drop a like on the video it's much appreciated thank you for tuning in and i will see you all in the next one so until then friends take care and bye bye